Hello. I'm really starting off this new year with some cracking reads and this one. Natalie Haynes, Stone Blind, The Story of Medusa. Five stars. Just has to be. And look at this edition. It is beautiful with the the sprayed edges, the cover, and when I find it, you can never find anything, it's even a signed copy as well. And this was um, a present for my husband for Christmas. And do you know, I don't know about you, when you get books like this that are so beautiful, you don't want to read them, do you? You certainly don't want to crack the spine. So I found myself reading it like this so that I didn't crack the spine. Anyway, enough of that. I adore Greek myth retellings if you've been following my channel for a while and this is brilliant. Medusa. Um, I know some people have thought that because the title is Medusa, it is all about Medusa. But it isn't, it isn't. It's, it's, sorry, it is and it isn't. It is not purely about Medusa. We see other people, other characters, other gods as well. And it's a sort of coming together of the whole story. So it doesn't focus purely on Medusa. She is there, but it's her story. And it's how everybody's stories interweave, interlink into this tapestry that Natalie Holmes has woven. She expands on the story of Medusa. We all know the legend, this woman with snakes for hair and eyes that can turn you to stone. We all know that. But she makes us look at it with fresh eyes and she makes us think about who is the monster. Medusa is the mortal child of uh, Phorkis and Cato and she's washed up onto the shore to be taken care of by her Gorgon sisters. So you see Medusa as a baby, as a child, as a young girl, growing up with these two sisters, who they may be monstrous, but they love her and she loves them. She doesn't see them as monsters, she sees them as her sisters, as caring, caring sisters. Alongside this, we have the story of Perseus, the child of Danae and Zeus. And we have his story, the way that he and his mother were cast out by their king father because of a prophecy and washed up on the shores of another island where they lived and where he grew up until such a time as he was given this quest to go and get the head of the Gorgon. We also see the other gods and they are just so, the way that Natalie Haynes portrays them, they are so petty and you have these petty rivalries and the, the banter between them, the conversations that they have, there is real humour and wit in here. That's one of the, the strengths of Natalie Haynes' writing. You see them being petty, you see them using revenge when they're slighted and sulking and using humans as their playthings, which is what happens to Medusa. Medusa is this mortal guy, child, who mortal young woman who is cursed by Athene for something she never did. She is given this head of he head of snakes, hair of snakes and eyes that turn people into stone and she is cursed purely because Athene is taking revenge on Poseidon. You know, poor old Medusa was the, the victim in all this. And then you get Perseus and he isn't the Greek hero that the legend and the myth tells us. He's spoiled, he's petty, he's whiny. And he's also a bit of a monster. So the whole thing is turned almost upside down because 
you you are made to look at who are the monsters. Medusa certainly isn't a monster. Not in this retelling. So it makes you think about things and your emotions are pulled away from this Greek hero. What I also loved is that there are other voices in here giving their perspectives of things. At one point, we even get an olive grove talking to us. And it gives a different perspective on the whole story, on the whole legend. And I thought it was super. I absolutely loved it. I loved the wit. I loved the humour. I loved the characterisation. There was nothing I didn't love. So that is Stone Blind by Natalie Haynes. A fantastic read if you're into Greek, um, Greek myth retellings. Highly, highly recommended. And I can't wait to see what legend she turns to next. So, happy reading. Take care.